a Sunday. I am not complaining. Whatever, now you should uh, get in my. Uh, oh, I forgot I have to do that again. Broadcast. God damn it, Mitch. God damn it! I was kidding. Ugh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm gonna have the game up on one screen and then kinda diddly doodling around with uh, Fallout and the other. Not like playing, but you know. Diddly doodling. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till you get up in here. Oh, where all my fucking tabs go? What happened? I'm just trying to put my glasses on. Hopefully, from what I know, from what I saw, Raptor record Skype, and then it'll also record my microphone, too. So, that'll be good. This is weird. Watch game. There we go, now it's working. There we go. Oh, it's probably gonna have a... Uh... Okay. Alright. Alright, you seeing this good? Uh, it's still loading. Yeah, I see it. And it's loud now. So that's good. Alright, I just started this case over because basically I haven't done anything yet. Uh, I think this recording is going to have like the little broadcast thing in the top, but it's okay. That's all good. I know Steam Do also records everything as well, but I was like, ah. Raptor's not too bad. At least you don't really have to encode it. And, like, it's not even a performance impact. And it's a really small file, too. Yeah. That's what I was getting at with not having oh. to encode it. <laughs> Unless you want to encode it at a oh, higher sorry. resolution for some weird reason. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this I at uh, 60 frames, 1080p. Exactly. But it's a little choppy on my end, but hey, it's you. good. Good enough. Please Let don't the tell me that you've returned to your old habits. The pupil is dilated. The temperature appears to be normal. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. This one, I like. I tried this this today when I started it out. I like couldn't figure it out. But like, you're supposed to click on every heartbeat instead of like. Could it takes me a while. Took me a while to figure it a out. A weak pulse, <laughs> around fifty beats per minute. Yeah, this is a lot of like uh cut But you're dying, Holmes. Oh. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The answer Clearly Sherlock's <laughs> on heroin. Give it to me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? No. No please. Well yeah. drink it all. Don't tell me that you did this to yourself. I basically know this beginning part of my name, nothing past this. I was gonna get this fix. Holmes, I'm imagine if I'm not that, returned that'll home kill you. I did, might, what uh... might have happened? <laughs> I knew that <laughs> you kill would. You. Even though Detura is not Mr. supposed Holmes, to like, Inspector Lestrade so... is here to see you. Uh, Mr. I don't know. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. A good day, Inspector. Ah, Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to find you Mr. here. Mr. Holmes. I need your help. <laughs> this is a strange one. We have brought in two young bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. They were found stranded in a rowing boat that was drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the buff, but uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway. There was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. They're terrorists. The Oceanic. <laughs> That's Isn't all that I know the so largest far. steamer been... ever built? Yes. They said they're terrorists and, and they, these they two stole young powder banker keg. chaps are sons huh. of the owners of the this White is, Star Line. The, uh, this the is the third case. It a of okay. corruption. I'm not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll keep it then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe to your liking. It's a murder, but we're unable to find oh, any no. weapon. We haven't touched anything. Is it the Roman Baths in Strand Lane? A murder. A vanishing weapon. The Roman Baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. Here you go. Let's go to the baths. Yeah.
the loading the loading screens are actually kind of quite choppy in this, but like that guy has better loading. <laughs> I hope it's not like too laggy for you. I could go in and uh, up the up the bit rate or whatever it is. I mean, it's fine. I've played games at worse, you know, quality. Riveting ride. Nice loading screen. <laughs> Beautiful place. With a dreadful murder. I'll just mute myself the body every time of Sir I take Rodney a vape. Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched, per your usual instructions, Mr. Holmes. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. Are you able to identify the men who are with the victim in the steam room? Yes. The manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. He doesn't seem right in the head. Well, we shall see. Well, the fucking... he's never right, so... <laughs> you found no murder. Stupid one. British police. No, and that's why I called you. All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, and they remained so until we got here. So one of them we did. even had to pick the lock to enter. Okay. I see. Well, it's going to turn out like none of them did it. Of course. Well, was there anyone sure else here, Holmes apart case. from those gentlemen in the steam room? <laughs> yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He will be able to give you more details. Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. This is like my favorite part, one of my favorite things in this game, is like going... Whoosh, whoosh, and you're like looking at people, like... It's like the Robert Downey Jr. one, where he's like... <laughs> looking at him, like... Time freezes, and he's like, okay... How uh, how good was the Robert Downey Jr. movie? I haven't seen it. There's two of them. They're actually pretty good. Hmm. Let's check them out. They're uh, Guy Ritchie movies. Nice. I like Robert. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The Plays a good smug guy. Of importance. Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning. And I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. That's weird, my CPU. There was a fire burning all night. Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at nine o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. So, I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up, and then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then, Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Hmm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived and Mr. Garrow followed. And what happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room? Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. The steam room's on the other side, Mr. Holmes. Oh, sorry. God. Well, maybe if they weren't in fucking Greek. Expensive clothes. Belonging to one of the men from the steam room. Rotate. Champagne. For a special occasion. 
an ice bucket to keep the champagne chilled. Unopened, it was intended to be enjoyed after the steam session. This game yeah, is just a lot These of, clothes uh, belong to one of the suspects. Walking from the around steam clicking room. things. Clothes belonging to one of the suspects. Let's check out this murder. That's a murder, all right. Oh, no, that guy's Lord. dead. Ah, death with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. Like the one you almost had an eye. Oh. And let us forget about that. <laughs> I think that dude's missing an eyeball. That he is. There was Maybe he one ate it before he died. It pierced the right eye That's what I would do. The brain. Death would have been instantaneous. Straight through to the brain. Oh! Well, death is very recent. Between 30 minutes to one hour ago. Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Look, Watson. He was wearing a ring. He very likely removed it before the steam session. It's like, what, uh, what else do I mm. think? Blood? The wound should not have bled so profusely. This pool is rather large. Uh, should not have bled. You fucking poked a dude's eyeball out. <laughs> I think we have found all that we doctor, can. I'm no doctor, but I would think that would quite a bit. Abysmal lighting. No. Constable, we have finished. It's just an way. eyeball. It's not like you stabbed him in the we heart don't or something. Any leads here. What concerns me is that we still have to find the murder weapon. Mr. Holmes, please have the body removed without disturbing anything else in the room. All right, Mr. Holmes. I was wondering, Holmes, it's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are a great many possibilities. But the murderer was in a hurry. Or he is an artist. Or a ghost. I'm or he wanted horse. to ensure that I did in on the case. Probably the latter. You are ridiculous. Do you know that? I don't know. I don't know how far along, like, how slow the stream is for you, though. I don't know. Ooh, glasses. Found some glasses. One lens is cracked, probably due to the temperature of the brazier. Oh, they're stupid! I'm like These ten seconds behind are you. For myopia. Oh, that's the wearer crazy. is short sighted. Fantastic. Um, can I do this? Settings. Oh, I guess I gotta tone myself down a little. Why do you gotta tone yourself down a little? Someone came back home. Oh. The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. Oh, well. It is too hot. I cannot reach into it. I will need something to pick up this melted metal. Oh, no. Just do it. Reach on in. Blood traces wiped on the towel. Do it fast. Found a murder. It's horrible. So Rodney, he's dead. Can't we speak about it somewhere else? Like literally red-handed. <laughs> I found him. I touched oh. his shoulder, thinking that he was just asleep. Oh yeah, yeah. That dude bleeding from his fucking eyeball is just. I'm in sleep. shock. I don't want to talk. <laughs> it's horrible. I can't talk at the moment. Ooh, a key! I mean, I don't know about you, but I usually take my eyeballs out when I go to sleep. I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. There's a key! I saw a key! There it is. This key was covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. Oh, let's just grab that bloody key. Yeah. What I like about this game, too, is you just go boop, third person, first person, third person, first person. That's nice, definitely. Who am I asking about this? Oh, that's I think 
I've got to go back to the, uh... Back to that dude and ask him about this key that I just got. Oh, or there's a cutscene. Okay. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? Ah, fuck me. Okay. Do we have objections or do we keep these guys here? Oh, wait. Uh, please wait. I need to do something first. I would have responded, but I hiccuped. We gotta talk to this guy first. I think you should have hiccuped. That's what you needed to do. Now, how many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then? I put the key inside my desk. But when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared. But I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time, or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. Uh... Ah, uh, fuck. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning. And you went to the ah, post office, sure where I you dispatched a bitch. telegram at around 7.30. <laughs> but how could you... No, I... The telegram was for someone in Manchester. Mr. Holmes, it's imp... I'll tell you everything. I left the baths at 7.20. My sister wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes, and I closed the baths on my way out. Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Sir Gregory would give me the sack. I need this job. I see. <sighs> there is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing room. Do you have any idea who left it there? There is? Are you quite certain? I didn't pay any attention. Do you believe it's that it's important? Burr. The plot twist the bottle of champagne was the murderer. The steam room. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> I don't want to stay here. Let us out, please. <laughs> I should think not. Ooh, okay. Let's flip the switch. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. You should have just left the body. Turn the steam off. Open a door, open a window. Damn it, Sherlock. Dude. So while well, oh, it was made in Seattle. But I would now what I'm thinking is that I turned the steam on and then nobody can't can't see shit. So then somebody came here and murdered him and then they didn't see. I don't think any of these dudes did it now. I don't know. Mr. Holmes? It's a likely story. The grid cannot be removed. All the of them is nowhere it. to be found. They took turns killing him and bringing him back to kill him again. What? They're all the murderers. Oh, they're all the murderers. One of them choked him out and then brought him back to life. And then the other one stabbed him in the eye straight to the brain. <laughs> choked him out and brought him back to life and then just murdered him through. Three different times. <laughs> yes. The other like one. Exodus probably means exodus. Frigidarium. The other one stole his ring. Can I go in here? Oh, I can go in the frigidarium. Oh no. What the hell is this? Make sure to check the solarium. Oh, shit. Check the solarium. The fuck? 
What? Not, are you all right? I wonder how this could have happened. Oh. <laughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <clears throat> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the Frigidarium. The coal room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Yes. Those stones weigh tons. <clears throat> we won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. Well, that's unfortunate. This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. Let's examine things. Glass plate negatives. A remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. Let's open this. A glass plate negative is missing. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. That's all I needed. See, as Sherlock Holmes, you can just wander into anywhere you want to go because that's. That's effective. Because you're Sherlock Holmes, you don't give a fuck. Well, I mean, he's doing his job. You kind of stay out of his way and he does his thing. And you just hope that you didn't do the murder because he'll find out. <laughs> I think I should be trying to find a metal thingy to pick up the, uh... Use the bottle of champagne. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? Trust me on this. Did I just take a fucking... Gee, where did I put Archaeological that? Archaeological findings. Old clay pockets with numbers course. inscribed upon them. I just shoved a shield up my butt? <laughs> Tools used by archaeologists in their research. I immediately see I will need I need these, these. tongs. Let's go pick up some hot metal piece. Oh yeah. I should analyze this melted metal. Where did you, you just where did he put that after he, did you just like shove that in his pants? That like burning piece of melted metal? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I know you needed tongs to pick it up and you just shoved it in your pants? These oh, parts yeah. are becoming sinister. Now you can take these dudes. Mr. Holmes, I should... No objection. Now you can take them. <laughs> Alright, we're done here. We got a bunch of we got a bunch of work to do, so let's go to Baker Street and examine this evidence. Do it. I'm not sure if we need Oh there we go, we have 
Okay. So this is actually pretty cool. Like, you get you put together like clues, mm -hmm. and then you get more clues. You can put them together and like form conclusions. Oh, we only got two clues so far, so. Well, you've got the biggest clue of them all right there. I got a raging clue. <laughs> Look at this telescope. But yeah, it's still the same fat lady. M Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Being a creeper, goddamn. Look at all this stuff we can analyze. Let's analyze this dirt first. Yep. This is dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely. Oh, okay. To the focus. This is definitely some dirty dirt. Selenite. Pyrite, otherwise known as fool's gold. Nice. Okay. White clay particles. Interesting. According to the color and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. Oh man, good thing I did an entire fucking class on this. The sample <laughs> of dirt belongs to the White London Clay region, located near the city of I St. I think Orleans. it's only a one little tiny spot. <laughs> analyze this blood now. Let us That's analyze good. this blood sample. This blood has not coagulated well. It seems very liquid. That is strange. Let us see what is inside it. Hydrogen peroxide will bring any foreign matter to the surface. I must take a pipette and place several drops of hydrogen peroxide. Oh, excuse me! Water. This blood is heavily diluted with water. Well, you were, they were in a steam room. And you know what steam this does? This is a piece of metal <laughs> taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, it turns but into we water. need to be sure. Oh, man. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it. Since well, I don't think it turns into water. Technically, it is still Celsius. water. 900 degrees Celsius. Come with on. With a silver penny <laughs> by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. I must oh, take a... Oh, the pipe, you can't just dump it. So let's put it on this, on this coin first. And it turns red, so we're gonna turn it on here. And it's the silver. The reaction silver. is the same red stain. It this is silver. pretty cool. Britannia silver quality. Oh, there's nothing else to, uh. There's nothing else to do, so. We're here at least, so. I think. Oh. Oh, okay, we gotta search his archives. Sir Bentcliffe! Wait, we needed 1885, 18, or 1893. Oh, oh my god, okay. You're reading, do you, can you read this bottom part? Where? This note? The... Oh. But the mummy? Okay, so what I'm thinking, a nucleated? I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna use context clues and guess that means, that means, like, gone? <laughs> like, like the body! <laughs> the, the right hand was, re like, reaching out, like the body was. Uh... I don't know. Yeah, okay, this looks like... This Here looks like is. he's been killed in the fashion with the mummy. By the so the mummy he was punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. 
I don't know. My money is still on the uh, champagne bottle. I'm f I'm putting money on the mummy. Mummy and the money. Mummy and the money. <laughs> money and the mummy. Fuck. <laughs> what if oh, it's look a at mummy? That book text here. Oh man. What? There we go. Okay. Oh, ow, my back. Oh, fuck. Wait, can we open our deductions? Uh, shit pocket. Okay, I don't think any of these will work together, but we can just check. Nope. None of these work together. Dang it. At least it's nice enough to tell you if, like, yeah, these, these won't work. That is neat. Let's go into the evidence room! An embroidered silk handkerchief. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. A fountain... Fancy... Shit. Fancy pen. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. Whoa. Uh, oh, this is a vial of drugs? Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? Dorma. It's the St. John's wart flower. Dorma. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. An ordinary pencil. Oh. A hand drawn map. An old and rather dirty coin. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. Just look at these. An oh. Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Something else to I look at. I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too. Look at all of the things. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. So with this notebook. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving the some of his last lines. <laughs> Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. Yeah. Swag. I always love doing stuff like this. Makes me feel like a detective. <laughs> Good thing I'm Sherlock Holmes, so I am a detective. There you go. Not just a crazy person pretending to be one. Yeah, you rub that pencil. Oh, this is gonna take forever, though. God. How much do I need to rub this? Oh, and I then let go. to gently smudge <laughs> the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm oh sure that God. Watson won't mind if I use his.
Mr. Holmes, the coroner... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? Yeah, I prefer tampering. to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. No. Yeah, fuck you. The inspector tells me what to do. <laughs> oh. Okay. By a curved blade knife. <laughs> Examine this body. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. It's yeah. it. Yeah, that's butt. Can't show Some that. Light bruising <laughs> caused by a rope. The bruising is in lines. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. Wait, no, I saw the eye. Oh, I got the. Okay. Hey, we made our first deduction. Oh yeah. Yeah, the presence of water is due to the humid atmosphere caused by the steam. Call I said that one before. <laughs> It's hard to make comments or jokes because the uh, street is a little behind. Which is fantastic. I upped the bit rate or whatever, but. It's whatever. Settings. Maximum bit rate is 3,500. It's the. Uh, Best performance. The curse of trying to do this over, uh, over WAN. Over what? Wide area networks. Oh. God damn it, Mitch. The internet. <coughs> you could have just said the internet. No. All this technical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it, nerd. Oh, God. But <laughs> then people won't know that I know things. <laughs> Oh, you gotta, gotta interrogate all these assholes first. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? That attitude? Yes, you will. <laughs> Arrog yeah, it's fucking arrogant twat waffle. <laughs> Look at me, how rich I am. <laughs> you are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Like douche nozzle. Yes, I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. 
Okay, what he was killed this guy because dude found Sir something. We were not particularly close. And that's how you're gonna make him he take had an unpleasant to temperament, suspicious, authoritarian. Yeah, seems all right. People possessed by genius may be forgiven Fucking for Sherlock Holmes over here, me. buddy. I'd solve the was case. I don't even need to do all this. <laughs> not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. But then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Had Sir Rodney oh, exhibited <laughs> any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? No. <laughs> How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? I still Sir think Rodney's it's the mummy. It's still the Rodney's mummy. Slowly, I would say. You already know my, uh... Work progress. Uh, Pickens' letter was the one that... Boom. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed oh. the wish to call off the research work at Mars. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Baal's publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. Did you bring Champagne. a bottle of champagne to the baths? <laughs> Absolutely not. Sir Rodney did, I think. That's why I was champagne. Absolutely not. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Uh, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. What is your occupation? I'm an archaeologist, specializing in the Roman period. I'm working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site, and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has. Thanks to Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for so him. So nobody honest. likes our murder victim. Was it your first collaboration? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly. Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, uh, God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room, and we all went to sit down. 
Uh, the steam was particularly dense, and I didn't see anything much further it's not off. Oof. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting. But we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck, and with all the steam, it, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. A Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. What? Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself? Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. He's overdosing on I drugs. Keep an eye on him. Oh, no. Don't do drugs, Brandon. Oh, I'll try not to. It's bad How for well you. were your I'll researches progressing to. before Sir Rodney's Every arrival? Every drug user is a Satanist. Rather well. <laughs> oh, shit. How? Work progress? Pitkin's letter. This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Uh, yes. But since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. Did you I'm place sorry. the bottle of champagne in the changing room? No, I did not. Ooh, we got enough clues to, uh... Do some, uh... Shit. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, he liked him, I think. That's what I'm gonna go with. Swag. So I can't use anything else with anything else. So we're done with this right now. Let's talk to this Please last guy. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Buddy, if you just lay up on the drugs, you probably wouldn't be so fucking... A good lean. day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you Could mind if I go. asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, uh, I am Tristram Garrow. He does look like he's sad. <laughs> That's a sad man. One more thing I haven't seen. So what I do now is just swipe across the screen until it turns blue. <laughs> I'm world famous detective. What is your occupation? I, I am a counselor at the uh, district. Ten chamber. out of ten. And what were you doing at the baths? What? There you go. Well, I I follow the researches. I am, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, it is quite interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened and we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. 
I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing by, by that. I, I apologise. What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working with, with a genius. He was a hard man, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. And he, uh, he, he trusted me, but, uh, oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh, I, I, I feel bad. I, uh, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. Oh, jeez, buddy. Please try to not record a good what you saw today. The room was so, <laughs> so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well in, in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know. Flying through the air, I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape, I, I don't remember. Saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if in, in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was... Shining like like gold. His ring. Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring, digging dark secrets. It was the mummy. I, it is after me now. Of the mummy. I know it. Oh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behaviour? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It, it is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I... I, I I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. Why not tell him? We uh, discovered some melted much, silver in the brazier. Did you like put it there? Buddy? It didn't help. Nah. The power is too strong. Leave it to his own devices. He's a grown man. Champagne in the changing room. What? No. Gary so appears to be there, but... rather mentally disturbed. Either that. I think I'll watch you do actor. this one. Uh, one case. He's mentally disturbed, all right. So just click everything. <laughs> click everything on everything. Use you on you with you. That's the way to do it. Brute force the possibilities. Go back to Baker Street and find ourselves a map. Ooh, that texture. <laughs> Need a map. I oh, got a letter. Oh, 
the letters, God. All of the letters. All oh, these are my past two cases, though, so. I need to find a map, I think. We'll have to, Sherlock. Find all of the maps. Well, like, see, my evidence here says a hand drawn map found in the around the points of location on St. Avon's, the North of London, and it's found on the map at Baker Street. This game looks fun and all, but it's not really my style of game. On the Definitely looks well made, though. Time today. Well, don't like, be surprised if Watson out. sits on you again. Oh, Toby. See, what? There's no map. What map? The map's behind the tiger skin thing. There's the map. Now we have two maps. We must see. I was totally them. right. Jeez. <laughs> oh, it looks fun. Uh. Let me know if you see anything. I'm looking. Is it Wait, go back down. Like I have to wait ten seconds. <laughs> uh, isn't it that over to the right? Watson, pack your bag. Oh. We are visiting a location in St Albans marked on Sir Rodney's map. Shit, where do we go now? Okay, so we're going to St. Albans. Let's find us some more clues. Always look over your shoulder for that champagne bottle. It's coming after you. Dude, no, it was the mummy! Was this... Did you not hear the, the crazy dude? Maybe it's the mummy. it was a mummy champagne bottle. Sorry this archaeological site has notes. been abandoned. Why did Bent... Uh, not to me. <laughs> I'm Sherlock fucking Holmes. Yeah, I go where I please, you dirty bastards. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna go in here anyway. <laughs> this is the map of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. In England? What is this Machu Python? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait until the next document comes up called Curses and Beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Documents just shoving cubes in our pants. Uh 
Okay, okay, this Turok Turok Tony knife is curved. The golden knife carries a curse. Okay, so the, obviously there was a knife. This is some this is some Egypt mummy curse shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the mummy. The mummy did it. I don't know, man. Haven't you seen enough? Haven't you seen Scooby Doo? Come on. <sighs> it was old man Jenkins. <laughs> it's always old man Jenkins. <laughs> Vulcan, the god of fire and metalworking. I gotta wait uh, too no, well. I believe the Vulcan. I believe the that's Cyclops, Spock. a one-eyed creature helping <laughs> Vulcan at the forge. That is all. That's all I came down here for was looking at that fresco. <laughs> Make sure it's a nice fresco. But I mean, there's lots of stuff. To I don't need the ropes. Here. Yeah. For now. I mean, it is a uh, I don't need the excavation ropes, site or something. Roman appreciation site. Excavating tools. It's like a trowel, a bucket, shovel, mm -hmm. and a brush. Hmm. Find a use for the trowel, okay? <laughs> well, these are mold pieces. I don't need the ropes for now. Okay, I don't need the ropes. I got it. I'll stop clicking on the ropes. I don't need the ropes for now. Jeez, so many places to look. It's only the third case, guys. Construction Dude. hooks. Yeah. You gotta, like, why you gotta... That's what I'm talking about when I mean, like, it's not quite my type of game. I get lost way too easily. Like, I, I can't beat Legends of Zelda games. It is a statue of Minerva. Who's this? Who's this? Neptune, okay. the god of the, the sea. Cool, cool. It is a broken the statue bowl. of a bull. Minerva. That sounds really familiar. This board. The gas buffets were used with the ropes and hooks for sieges. This is the map cool. of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. More stuff. More reports. Ate, oh, you fucking asshole, you ate that dude's sandwich, you douchebag. That's shitty. So was was the the manager of the bathhouse was he angry that like 
He's just a grumpy ghost. Is it because the dude's doing archaeology, or does he want the dude to do research because it'll make the uh, place more popular? I think he wants to open this bitch. So, he's being an asshole. We'll see what happens if he says, don't form any connections, so I think he's doesn't want it to open. We can always change it later. Yeah. This is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. This is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. Oh, okay. I imagine we're going to have to come back to that later. <laughs> I know there's one area that I'm missing. So, let's go over here for a bit. And see if there's anything here to look at. No. I'm stuck on stuff. This wall was covered with mud recently. What could be hidden here? Use the trowel! Oh, the Frigidarium. Oh, snap. The place they collapsed in. I can see now. Frigidarium. It is located at the Roman Baths in London. Someone took the time to hide the fresco, but what for? I need to visit this place. Well, that's gonna be kinda hard because it's caved in, dude. Oh, we need to do some science on these mold pieces. So we gotta go back to Baker Street. I'm still thinking it's the mummy. I think it's crazy. I mean, it could have been the mummy with the champagne bottle. <laughs> I'm, I'm still hedging my bets on the mummy. <laughs> I don't know. I feel pretty good about that champagne bottle. It looked pretty shifty. There are 12 pieces here. Let's cubes. try to gather them. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Okay, so... Yeah, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, so no matter what I do, it always comes back to that main position. Oh, this is gonna suck, dude. I don't know, it looks really fun. See, it can only really rotate all. Oh, oh my god. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> all this is gonna take forever. Oh my god. Fuck me. Yeah, I have fun with that. to go there. That goes like that, I think. Oh no, fuck. I will count this piece fuck. as a starting point. Oh yeah, it's the starting point? 
fucking Christ almighty. Okay, so that goes there. That slides into that, so now we need to find this and rotate it like this, I think. So that slides into there, and that goes down onto there. So that should go here, I think. But no, that can't go there, because that's got a... That's got a bottom, so that can't possibly be on the bottom. Fuck me. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It looks fun. So I think this... We'll need to have, to have to go here. No, that can't go there! I mean, I can just skip this, but I'm not a dirty cheater like that. Fuck, I just fucked it up again. Oh, oh this is going to take me forever. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> okay, so I think I should take... I need to take all the ones that have flat bottoms and put them on the bottom. First of all. Because then that... <sighs> okay, I th okay, we got a better start now. So now we have all these on the bottom. Okay, so that'll slot into that. So we should rotate this to go there. Okay, that clearly does not go there. Okay, so that goes there. That slides into that doohickey. So... That'll go like that. Okay, so I think I got this base figured out. So we need a V-type bottom, which will go here. Rotate this around. I will count this. Uh, okay, fuck. Okay, so everything needs to have a f Okay, so this has to go up here. And this will have to go up here. Oh, I've now fucked it all up! <laughs> okay, so V has to go here. Swap those around. Wait, shit, is that the V? Is that a V bottom? I need it as a V. Okay, so that has, this has to go on top of here. Does this have a. Okay, so this. This will have to. Okay, this can't go like that. this right? Okay, these have to go like that. These have to be in the bottom and these have to be on top. So I need something that's like a V shape, a V bottom. Okay, that's right. That does go like... Okay, that does go like that. That'll have to rotate around. So 
Therefore, that's gotta go like this, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's slots in like that. So therefore, that has to go like this. Put in the slot together. Okay, so I think these have to switch. Shit, no, these have to go like that. No, they can't go like that. See, those all fucking click together. So I'm at least halfway right on this. I'll actually be right back real quick. It is a mold, and it is ready for casting. The mold is prepared for casting. We just need to fill it with certain material. Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid of maledictions, and yet... Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. See what we have here. This knife is very similar to that described by the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. Did it. Nice. Nice, nice. You didn't solve the whole thing, did you? Like the Not 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 the case, no. Are you sure that didn't like open a portal and you have to see the future through the Elder Scroll? Shit, so what do we do now? What? Uh mold can be used for this silver production knife. Silver. Let us try to create an object from silver by using the mold. Oh, oh, well the mold, the mold made a knife that was similar to that to which killed Rob. Oh. With my gas burner. 
So Done. now we're putting... Now I can proceed further. So we take this, and we... Bloop. Oh. The we're seeing if we can make it out of silver. To cool make it out of spaghetti. So now what I'm thinking is somebody killed him with the now knife I and put it... Further. Put it on that, like, on that, uh, fire, and it melted the knife. That's why we couldn't find the, the weapon, was because they oh, melted it. Homemade silver knife. Excellent. That we have created sense. a knife with the silver that we found. It could have been used to the kill Sir I mean, it's a very it's smart monster. To create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime. Go back to the steam bath. Mr. Holmes. We've cleared the corridor to the Frigidarium. You can visit it now. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Sweet. find some clues by activating the flagstones. I'm, not, I'm never going to figure this out. <laughs> How do you push something back? Any more flagstones, whatever the fuck? Spider. Looks like I'm inadvertently doing these right. Well, that's nice. At least you're getting it done. Like, not getting stuck. I have no idea how I'm supposed to like figure this out, <laughs> but it looks like I'm doing it right at mm -hmm. least. I'd say you are. I mean, it looks like it's so far. I mean, I wouldn't know. I mean, when they're like when they're zooming back out and like I can't unpress anything. No.
A hidden symbol. Wait, maybe I should unpress this again? Hidden sign. There's another one. A sign. Now I have all the clues to help me find where these symbols are leading. All I need is imagination. <laughs> I don't even get what you're doing. I'm trying to like match up all these things. <laughs> About that fourth statue. Can't touch it, I can only touch mm. these. Use the end, the end of the. But like, where, where the hell do you put this? This. You should be able to touch or something, but... This game's always... Like, games like this always make me feel <laughs> stupid. Like, uh... I have no idea what to do. Like, does this go all the way over here? I can't, like, rotate the... It doesn't go like this, does it? statue elements. Oh, uh, oh, I see what they wanted me to do. Beforehand. Was somebody in, like, Roman times supposed to figure, be able to figure this shit out? Christ! Uh, Archimedes.
This looks like it, like it looks like it should meet up like that, but it doesn't really. Like, are the Y's supposed to meet up? Yeah, cool. Are these go here? It looks like they should intersect like that, but then that comes down. Here we go! The signs are pointing to this bust. I are genius! What did that open up, though? Uh, open up here. Oh man, we're going down. What is this place? I am unsure, Watson, but everything points to the fact that it was the last place visited by Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. We are approaching the end of this mystery. Salt is salty. A broken glass plate. <laughs> what is it doing here? I should examine it. It's the missing plate the that we feet. didn't find in the thing. The what? How very oh. peculiar. An ice maker. Yeah, Remember the, 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 the glass plate? Yeah. Such a device here. A sack of crude salt. A sack Why of is crude it so, salt. So crude? God. It's got that salt got a mouth on it? <laughs> Mithras, the god, clothed in Anatolian costume and wearing a Phrygian cap, killing the bull. This fresco resembles either a ladder or a hierarchy. This fresco resembles either a ladder or a hierarchy. Oh, bones! Oh, remember that? Oh, shit! Okay, I need to find one that doesn't have a shield or whatever. The pillar collapsed a long time ago. That thing that I picked up and put it in my pants, and I was like, how I saw my fingers in my pants? <laughs> We're in some type of capital. See? It is a mummy! I'm just, I'm just walking all over this. Oh my god, Sherlock, you're just walking all over that mummy? <laughs> Just stomping on a zombie. The Ooh. fire casts a shadow upon the floor. Oh. That is the symbol of Neptune, the god of the sea. So we light the fire in here. All these fires, baby. Too bad this one's collapsed, so we gotta use our imagination. It resembles a bull. It is very similar to the face of Mithras. Am I missing one? No, I'm not. Am I supposed to be using my imagination? I don't know what I'm imagining. Let's just continue on forward and see what else we can find. Mummified Nothing. bodies. Oh, there's a mummy. We're in some type of catacomb. Mummified bodies. We're in some... A shovel. Not from the Roman era. Well, like we have the pillar collapsed a long time ago. I have the I have the shield thing. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Okay. This shadow seems to represent a bridge. The shadows show us the way to go. We will find Mithras after Neptune, the bull, and the bridge. Wait, so it's... Hmm. Mithras? It's not... It resembles God, a, the shadows show us the way to go. We will find On Mithras, Mithras after, after Neptune, Neptune, the bull, and the bridge. The bull and the bridge? Okay, so it's Neptune, bull, bridge, Mithras. So where do I take that? Neptune, Bull, Bridge, Mithras. Neptune, Bull, Bridge, Mithras. Neptune, Bull, Bridge, Mithras. So, it's by Neptune. Oh, well, oh, shit. Oh, do I have to go back to the... I think I was saying stuff and forgot think... that my mic was muted. <laughs> Neptune Gold Bridge of Mithras. Do we need more deductions we can do? out of a billion. It's a small percentage. Neptune, the god of the sea. It is a broken statue of a bull. There's Mithras. Where is I supposed to? Bridge piers? Shit, what? I remembered this information, but what for? I'm at the place it wants me to be, I think. Oh, am I supposed to go down here? Excavate. No. Do I need this rope? Okay, I need the rope. Random off topic uh, comment. While I'm poking around through Fallout's files, I found a uh, reference to a scimitar. So that's oh, I wanna use that's pretty scimitar. neat. The hell do I need this rope for then? Fuck! Gosh, Mitch, what the hell? What? But you were good at games. <laughs> Oh, I need to take. Uh, still got shit to do. I gotta go back. I need to go back to uh, Baker Street anyway. Put this glass thing together. Oh 
Oh, another one of the- fuck, god damn it! Okay, start from the outside, right? That topmost piece that you have isn't, uh, isn't the left edge piece. Like the one you've got in the top left corner. There we go. Mr. Smartass Brain, Mr. Smarty Pants Brandon over here, fucking. Not to tough people, you were right! <laughs> Watson, could you please use this negative and your photographic equipment to process the photograph? Thank you, Watson. Now I must use reagents to develop the photograph. Not reagents again! <laughs> oh, no, okay, oh, thank God. In the first, in the first case, you had to use reagents, and I... That's the only time I've ever had to use a walkthrough for this game, because I just couldn't figure it out, but then it turned out like I was just being stupid and not looking at nice. it correctly. Another archaeologist, most probably. Ice. Salt. Sir Rodney. Ice cream in the desert? <laughs> we are indebted to the Romans who developed the technique. The Pyramids of Giza in Egypt. Someone's supposed to be looking at it. Ice cream. So that's it. Salt and crushed ice may help to create ice cream. Okay. Dude, that's fantastic. Now you know how to make ice cream. Now you can uh, create an ice knife. Oh, there you go. Make an ice knife. If I wish to shape the ice knife. Ice, salt, and then the mixing. It should be elementary. We need to reach minus 20 degrees Celsius to fully freeze the water inside the mold. Before beginning, I must remember that I have enough ice and salt for no more than four attempts. Oh god, okay. Oh good. Better not screw this the up. Bitch. Is reduced. Only make ice cream four times. I don't want no slushy. Ice More salt!
More salt! A block of Yes. Ice. Fucking uh oh. Good More job, ice. Bitch. Oh. We cannot be making it correct. Ah, fuck. We're s Let us try. <laughs> Let us try again. Take the water, put it in the mold. Ice before we. Stab, stab. The temperature is reducing. Take the salt. Take this. Ice. Oh yeah, baby! Excellent. <laughs> now we must check to ensure that it is adequately frozen. An ice weapon for a cold-blooded murder. An ice knife. A surprising and yet a very brilliant idea. It's the perfect weapon. It enables one to kill a man and then it melts. The only trace it leaves is a small puddle on the ground. Oh shit, now I gotta completely rework my fucking... Deduction. Nice. Yeah, fuck. Why do those bullet holes spell out an R? We need to go to Scotland Yard to interrogate this guy anyway, yeah. so... What can you tell me about Mithras? Oh, so much. It was the core of our work. Why do you ask? Were you seeking the golden knife? Ah, I see you are an amateur. Yes, the golden knife was our grail. It is said that it bears the only text explaining the ritual of the cult of Mithras. I understand. I read something about immortality. A myth. The knife would provide immortality only to the worthy one, and yet it is cursed, and it would kill you if you are not initiated. Did you expect to find the golden knife at the baths? Well, Sir Rodney thought that it might be there. Uh, did you observe the knife representations there? They are so extraordinary, uh, and we had hoped that... Uh, oh, 
It's a tragedy that he has passed away, taking all of his secrets with him. As soon as I've been released, I will continue Sir Rodney's researches in his memory. Please escape. Perhaps you could explain the cult of Mithras to me. No, there is nothing to say. We, we, we are not the worthy ones. But Sir Rodney believed that he was? He was wrong. I, I have visions. The golden knife, the, the mummy. Oh, it's all my fault. Calm down, Mr. Where's the Gary. mummy? <laughs> Man, do you think I don't think he did it? I don't know. Why well, maybe he did because he's like we're not we're not worthy. <laughs> I mean I don't know. He I'm seems he pretty it. obvious, so I don't know if that's like, oh he's obvious so it's obviously him, or it's like he's too obvious so it's not him. He's clearly crazy though. I think this game is that Please. there's like multiple ed like you can there's multiple endings. Oh. The we'll paintings like, in the bars are the focused on Mithras, I understand. To. Yes, they are what make this place remarkable. And that is why Sir Rodney came here? He believed that the golden knife, which is an ancient ritual item, was hidden somewhere around the baths. I admit that it would be wonderful if it were true. And you are not concerned by the reputation of this artifact? You mean the curse? Before someone is dead, it is a blessing. After they are dead, well, then it becomes a curse. <laughs> okay, I think I need to, uh... I think that's true. These contra oh, these are all contradictory. So the last last thing to do is we gotta go to the Mithrium at St. Albany's site. So I, th I think we need to go here. Is there something about the, the, the bridge? I don't know, but... This is a reproduction. Oh, I don't need that quite yet. The door has been left open. The gastrofets were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. This.
We should use these metal rings to help us reach the bridge pillar. There might be something behind these leaves. I have to find a way of... Nice, okay, now I basically just figured Sweet. it out. Boom, 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 gotta go back to get this thing. I should use... Oh, fucking great. I should use... I should... I should... I should... I should... Am I missing something? I should use the... Oh. There we go, now, my, now I got my doohickey. Those rings on the bridge are perfect targets. Oh god, you drunk fucking... <laughs> Firing a gastrofeetus requires a lot of practice. God, <laughs> god, that aiming. This one is red. Uh, I did it! Nice! Oh god, I did this three times? <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think Sherlock should have had all that champagne before, uh, <laughs> operating a crossbow. Maybe that champagne was the murderer. It was. I still Sherlock the murdered the champagne way. back, though. Drank it all. He's like, uh, old school Jim Leahy. It's the liquor. The bridge is ready. Now I must cross it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh god, I'm Oh god, what the hell? <laughs> What are you supposed to do? <laughs> that looks agonizing. Are you using like the mouse buttons or what? what uh... Oh, never mind. I see the controls right in front of me. This is not made any better by like. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, then again, you walk no! across some really thin ropes. 
That might as well be fishing line. Why couldn't you just swim across? Because you don't want to go inside the hidden <laughs> temple of Mithras. What is. Is I Sherlock sure. soluble? We had better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find a murder Just mummy. Just be sure to not that. touch any water. Oh, is this gonna be a goddamn maze? I saw maze? this symbol in the tunnels underneath the Frigidario. You know what this kind of makes me want to play is Which the way should uh, we go, Holmes? There old to be some PC game there. based Let's off of the around. mummy movie. God. I saw this symbol in the tunnels I'm underneath gonna, the Frigidario. I gotta show you that game. Need Neptune? I Dude, saw we should do Let's Play that. I saw this. Si I don't I saw remember. This. I don't know what it was. Uh, it was just based off of the uh, old Mummy movie with what's his name? Mm hmm. Brendan Fraser? I it's played it. Oh, what? Neptune? Neptune Bull Bridge Mithras. Do you see fucking Neptune here anywhere? You no, know, let's just let's just noodle Doodle. around Doodle. here. Okay, so that's Ooh, we're going down, down, down. To a mummy's place of retire. <sighs> Fuck. I was gonna wanna go up. Do I? I wanna go down. <laughs> Get out of the way, Watson! Oh, stop it! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Watson's like the dog meat of this game. Oh my god, he's like right in your way. Dead end. Up? Do all these go up? These all go up. But to somewhere else, I think. Fuck, is this where I start? This is where I started. This is where I started. So I went this way and then. Oh, God. Went oh, down. I have to extract 42,000 3D meshes. Well, have fun with that. Okay, this goes. This goes back up, doesn't it? Where I came from, dead end. Cry, this is gonna be awful. Well, at least this is fun to watch while I sit here extracting things. I think I already went this way. I think this is a dead end. Probably. Dead end. Please. Oh, okay, thanks, Watson. Oh, we... For not getting in the way this time. So I can't. I had to come out this way. So this is the only logical. Are these all dead ends? No, we didn't go this way, did we? Oh, my headset cut out. 
shit, no, this is the way I fucking can't. Oh my god. Oh, this is balls. Let's try another way then. What the fuck? I saw. Okay, so they, the, the only logical way the, then is this way. This is the only possible way I could go. So. Let's oh. go through Watson. Just shove him in a hole. Like, shove him down a pit. Are you kidding me? I gotta do <laughs> weight puzzles now? What is this, Indiana Jones? This looks really fun. Do I have to put them all down? Okay, is there a... Is there a hint of some sort? No. There's not a hint of some sort. I'm just gonna noodle around with these stupid ass rocks. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, I think what we should do is see which ones are the heaviest. I think this red one is the heavy. Okay, the red one is heavier than the, bla than the black one. And these don't weigh fucking anything, so I think I should put this here. Take this and put it here. That pushes that up. Okay, so these weigh fucking nothing, so I think this has got to be on one end. This can be a roundabout type of thing. Oh no, it takes me even deep. Oh my god, is this gonna. Goddamn Romans. Can't fucking build anything that makes sense, goddamn Romans. No, we're just gonna go down. No, no, no. Okay, I'm just assuming I'm supposed to go down. Are we going up again? Oh. No, why? It goes up. Why 
are you doing this to me, game? Does this take me better? No, this is leading me to a goddamn it. <laughs> supposed to figure out where to go. Who would do this? Why would you do this? Am I supposed to follow the creepy voice? Yeah, probably. Don't get killed by a spooky, scary skeleton. No, it's the mummy. It's hey, been the mummy all the along. The mummy has a skeleton. Unless he's a gummy. <laughs> <laughs> that that physically hurt to hear, dude. I'll Come just, on. Oh, I I'll just see myself go. out. Oh my god, that was bad. Shitty pun. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking murdered. But how'd you get it? Pull the cup for that champagne. Okay. I think you're gonna die. Turn the lever? Watson, I need your help. Oh, now I'm controlling Watson. Watson, you fucker not. Oh, are you... mechanism seems inactive. Most likely the door it controls has already been opened. So you switch between the two of them? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. This game's pretty cool. Here we are. Oh, let's get the golden knife. Let's examine this, this broken is lamp. Not the oil is still fresh. Perhaps Sir Rodney passed by here. No, I do not think so. Remember, he went no further than the category underneath the frigidaire. The murderer left this lamp. Oh, 
Oh my god. The golden knife of Mithras. A long lost relic has resurfaced. Watson, it is time to conclude this case. Now I get to extract 125,000 models. <laughs> Excellent. Now, we should find another way of getting out of here. Who did it? Who done it? You know what? I think it was that rat bastard Watson. Sir Rodney's secret was an imp He found the thing, but... Hashtag Watson did it. Ice knife. <laughs> let's get out of let's get out of here first. Oh my god, I almost fucking fell over. I'm not gonna find my get Watson back out of here. Well, this one. Just fast travel. I'm just kidding. I can't. <laughs> I tried that already. seems see you Sherlock <laughs> nice knowing you Sherlock. I cannot leave Holmes trapped here alone. 
Even though he did ruin my favorite handkerchief. Oh boy. Oh, there's more on the other side as well. Oh no, not the poor handkerchief. Chief. Skedaddle. So we can come we can come to the conclusion that uh, the dude either Ace. killed him with the the ice knife or the, or the silver knife. I think everybody killed him with every knife. So I can go... You know who probably did it? Steam moisture. Silver weapon. So I can go boom, boom, boom. Garrow. So we can say... Oh. Either way, nice. Garrow did it. Wait, shit, did he? You thought it was a mummy. Uh oh. Uh oh, no, Blinkhorn could have done it. Oh god, Champagne. who did it? Oh god, who did it? No. Oh. I'd say. Wait, who's Blankhorn again? He's the other. He's the shitty one who like oh. almost got fired. Oh god, and who did it? Oh! So you're not gonna say this dude did it too? So now suddenly Pitkin did it. Fucking. Ah! Uh... No, I think I think Pitkin did it. He's a rich asshole. I'm sending him. Send that. Do it. I'm sending to the death chair. I find you guilty of being a douche. I gotta talk quieter. You know what? I'm gonna condemn Pitkin. Oh, I can't accuse what? a suspect at the moment? What? Oh, I gotta, like, probably do a thing. There we go. Condemn Pitkin! Yeah! That's my moral choice! Send him to the gallows. Now we'll see if we did it right or not. Who cares? Kill him. <laughs> Why did you bring me here? I saw that you released the others. Sir Gregory, I would ask that you listen carefully to what I am intending to reveal to Inspector Lestrade. You murdered Sir Rodney Bentcliffe in cold blood, and you did it for money. What? No, that's not true. I am afraid that it is. The ingenious ghost weapon that you used only served to prove the premeditation. You are insane. It was a spectacular felony, one that intrigued the police and encouraged the press. 
Scandal is an excellent means of bringing the public's attention to your baths. And eventually, of course, it brought me, too. You have it all wrong. Well, I didn't expect you to possess much in the way of courage. May you be a fraction more inspired before you meet the hangman. Farewell, Sir Gregory. Uh-oh. <laughs> I did it wrong! Good job. Okay, we're gonna we gotta figure out who actually did it. Okay, then it was then it's gotta be the crazy dude who is like, do we're not fucking worthy. The curse. God damn it, bitch! I almost just killed an Gosh innocent man, it. even if he was a douchebag. I told you it was the champagne bottle. And you didn't listen. You went with the mummy. Uh, I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna go with the. Uh, Silver knife, but But no, he's crazy. Uh, he may yet be cured. That's my moral choice. Be cured by a, uh, by a hangman. No, it's going to be a silent. <laughs> but he's going to die there anyway, so... Might as well be the same thing. We'll find out who we're right this time. Mr. Garrow, allow me to introduce you to Dr. Watson. Mr. Garrow, please do not be alarmed. We only wish to help you. You were under an intolerable stress, but it's over now. What? I can attest that your medication affected your judgment. You will not recall, but it caused you to temporarily lose control. Did I? Uh, are you saying I uh, killed Sir Rodney? I am afraid so. For as my doctor will persist in reminding me every single day, drugs can be harmful. You developed a malevolent obsession with Sir that. Rodney. You believed him to be unworthy, sacrilegious. Oh, do not distress yourself. Prison is <laughs> clearly not a suitable environment for you. What is my environment then? You're suffering from an acute form of melancholia, but you can and will be cured. All you need is rest, and detoxification, I will take care of every detail. You didn't do it! I found all the clues, but he didn't do it! Who did it? Ah! <laughs> He did it himself. So it has to be the do other guy. It has to be Blinkhorn. <laughs> Blinkhorn. After you do the, uh... Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Holmes, what happened? Oh, God damn it. Yes. Oh? Is that the oh, golden knife? Here we go. Let's get okay. on the internet. I also like to dig, you see, Mr. Blinkhorn. One never knows what one might find. Occasionally, remarkable rarities, such as this. The thrill of the discovery and one's own enhanced reputation. Wouldn't you agree? Well, are you suggesting that... I am not suggesting anything. I know. You found the knife. You are an intelligent man. The ghost knife shall remain one of the most ingenious constructions I have seen in my career, I do assure you. I don't understand. Yes, you do. I am praising your performance, your perfect murder. What? Wait, are, are you accusing me of murder? No, I deny it. Mr. Blinkhorn, it is no use to deny it. I know the truth. You had no choice, because it was you who found the golden knife. And therefore, you had to be the murderer. Sir Rodney was determined to receive all the credit for the find, when in fact it was your work. He would have crushed you to be sure that you could never tell the truth. But I uphold the truth, and I will tell it. What do you mean? That you will save me? What I mean is that you deserve a second chance. I shall be following your career with the keenest interest, Mr. Blinkhorn. Farewell. Did I get it right this time? No, I didn't get it right this time! Why, why, why? Good job, Sherlock. Oh! I was the worst detective in the world! <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> Who did it? Do I have more stuff to it? I don't oh, have any more job. stuff to investigate. <laughs> Dude, I'm just... Okay. I'm just confused how, uh... When I lost connection, the, the stream was still going. Blinkhorn is the ice knife. He's fucking hanging for it. If it's if it's him, and I got it wrong last time, he's fucking hanging for it. I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. Why have I been put into these cuffs? I fear that you had better get used to them, Mr. Blinkhorn. They are your reward for the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? No, that's a lie. It is regrettable, for you are a talented archaeologist. I will request that you are placed in a prison where you are unable to dig an escape tunnel. That is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. You The are... consulting detective who salutes your intelligence in performing the perfect crime, yes. But also the gentleman who detests your motivation. You know nothing. You wish to be the one who would reveal this to the world. Is that the golden knife? How... I also like to dig, you see. I only followed your trail. Such a pity that there is always someone willing to steal your credit, wouldn't you say? And there was the chance of a lifetime. You had to take it. It was not to be shared. It... Oh. But now I am here, and there is no one who will stop the tread of justice, Mr. Blinkhorn. Goodbye. I got it right this time. I got it right this time! I'm gonna throw some confetti. Nice. Good job. Uh. 
Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> that's enough for today. And that's a wrap. That man is...